with me students our today's topic is mean for group data so first of all i would like to explain you what is the definition of mean basically the definition of mean for group data and ungrouped data is same it summarizes the data into a single value which indicates the central value of the data it can be calculated as the sum of the product of frequency and midpoint divided by the total frequency so x bar equals to summation fx divided by summation f let's we have a group frequency distribution and you have to calculate mean so how would you calculate it student let this is a data class interval and frequency is given and according to the formula we need x that is represented by midpoint and fx that is the product of frequency and midpoint so how do we calculate the midpoint 0 plus 9 and the answer divided by 2 so what is 0 plus 9 is 9 and 9 divided by 2 the answer is 4.5 so 10 plus 19 the answer is 29 and 29 divided by 2 the answer is 14.5 20 plus 29 that is 49 49 divided by 2 the answer is 24.5 and you will calculate the rest of the midpoint so these are the rest of the midpoint how do we find out f and x 3 multiplied by 4.5 the answer is 13.5 2 multiplied by 14.5 the answer is 29 1 multiplied by 24.5 the answer is same 7 multiplied by 34.5 the answer is 241.5 5 multiplied by 44.5 the answer is triple 2.5 students in the formula we need total frequency and total fx the total of the frequency is 18 and the total of fx is 531 so according to the formula x bar equals to summation fx upon summation f it means 531 divided by 18 so the answer is x bar that is equal to 29.5 that is your result Students, today I will explain you how to drive this formula of geometric mean. Students, if you remember the geometric mean formula uh, or the definition of geometric mean that it is the nth root of the product of n observation x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 up to xn and it's 1 over n power. We need to remove this 1 over n power so we apply log of geometric mean it means when we apply here it becomes 1 over n and log of log and apply on x1 x2 x3 up to xn students if you remember the relationship of log ab which is equals to log of a plus log of b so we apply here the same formula uh, as log geometric mean is same it is equals to 1 over n same log x1 plus log x2 plus log x3 up till log xn now student this is again log of geometric mean same log x1 log x2 log x3 they all are add with each other so we apply here the summation sign and it becomes log of xi uh, this log with geometric mean becomes when we take into another side it becomes anti log summation log of xi upon n which is verified students in this video I am going to explain you how to find out the geometric mean for the given data geometric mean equals to anti log into summation f log x upon summation f 
we have given the class interval and the corresponding frequencies what you have to find out consider the column of midpoint and frequency multiply by log x you will generate the column of f log x like this and from the calculator you will calculate all the values so now i am going to write here all the values of f log x and now i have written all the answers summation f equals to 22 and summation f log x equals to 30.0032 so right here geometric mean equals to anti log 30.0032 divided by 22 it is anti log as it is and 1.363 Take the anti log that is geometric mean equals to 23.109. Assalamualaikum students. In this video, I will explain you how to find out the harmonic mean for the given group data. Students, class interval and frequencies are given in the data. While you have to find out the midpoints and f upon x. The formula of the harmonic mean is summation f divided by summation f upon x. This is a column we have to generate by ourselves. Midpoint and f upon x like this. What we need? Summation f equals to 28. And when you add summation f upon x, you will get 0 0.92176. Now put this value into the formula. Summation f was 28 and summation f upon x was 0 0.92176. When you divided it, you will get 30.376. That is the harmonic mean. So this is the complete solution of the question. If you have any problem students, you can ask me. I will definitely respond to you. And till the next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.